Hello everybody, welcome to another fantastic episode of Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. My name is John, and I'm sitting here in my world famous sipping den doing another great review. I do everything that has anything to do with alcohol on this channel. That's pretty damn impressive. I'm the only one in the world that can do it, and not only am I doing everything that has anything to do with alcohol, I do everything that has anything to do with coffee, because on Sundays, every Sunday, I post a coffee review so we can sit back, relax, and enjoy a nice cup together. And the way to keep up with all this is to have the best, up-to-date, easily navigatable, categorized, subcategorized playlists on YouTube, and I have it, and I challenge you to look at it. Other from that, mega mall of alcohol and coffee, too, right here on this channel. You want to go to a million channels checking out all these different products? Or you can just stay right here. All I ask for is a sub. Remember, every comment, the first one is always pinned. It has a link to whatever playlist we're reviewing. And this playlist is going to include Canadian whiskey. Now, before we get started, who gave me this Canadian whiskey? Who donated this to the channel? Scooter. Scooter. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for loaning me this whiskey to do a review on. Scooter is a great friend. Scooter is a co-worker. Scooter is in the industry. We all love Scooter. Give Scooter a shout out, because without Scooter, this ain't happening. Let's check out the bottle of this. Caribou Crossings. Caribou Crossing, single barrel Canadian whiskey. Imported by Sazerac Company, Louisville, Kentucky. 40% alcohol, 80 proof has a little tag and the tag is a Kroger pick single barrel now it's a beautiful bottle here it is see that now watch look at that how cool is that a little story yeah look at that look at that and then look at the top all right that's important right now what does the back say Caribou Crossing Single Barrel is painstakingly handcrafted by our expert whiskey making team who have personally selected the finest whiskeys available. The result is Canadian whiskey, unequal by any other, patiently aged, no age statement, and no um, mash bill. Smooth and exceptionally flavorful Caribou Crossings is available in limited quantities at select stores. All right, well, Caribou Crossing. Canadian whiskey, owned by Sazerac, made in Canada, bottled in Louisville. Is Cowboy Crossing a bourbon whiskey? This is doing the research for me right here. We know it is. Cowboy Crossing holds the distinction of being the world's first single barrel Canadian whiskey, made from the finest sampling of our master collection. All right, where's Cowboy Crossing is made? We know that, right? Canadian whiskey is bottled twice a year in the spring and fall at the Buffalo Trace Distillery in Kentucky, distilled in Canada and aged in barrels for at least three years. Often, but not always, Canadian whiskeys are blends of corn, barley, and rye whiskeys, which were distilled and matured separately. So, three years, 80 proof, single barrel. So everyone's gonna taste a little different. Every one of these, <coughs> unless it comes out of the same barrel. Who makes caribou whiskey? Caribou Crossings, and Buffalo Chase Distillery. Um, Caribou Crossings, as branded by Sazerac, is the world's first Canadian single barrel whiskey since the 19th century. That's quite a way to introduce yourself to a party. Anyway, while it is Canadian whiskey, most of it is made in Canada. Most of it is made. Uh, most of it is made in Canada and bottled at the Buffalo Chase Distillery. Hmm. All right, let's get into it. I think that tells us some interesting stuff. Some people call this the Canadian Blanton's. Blanton's is also a single barrel. Blanton's also does not have a caribou on top. It has a horse. This comes in a caribou comes in a blue velvet bag. Blanton comes in a brown bag. Okay. Here's Blanton's and here's caribou. So. 
Alright, that's where it stops. Plantings a 93 proof and on and on, but we don't talk about plants right now. We're talking about caribou. Here's the top. It is cool, of course. People love it, right? That's why they love plants. It's one reason. I mean, it's a cool package. Right. Let you look at the old color. Once again, Scooter, my man. Scooter. And you saw the color here. Now concentrate on the color because you're looking at the bottle. Beautiful etching. I mean, beautiful etching. Really gorgeous. All right, here it is in the glass. Let's give her a sniff. Let's give it a sniff test. Hmm. You can smell oak. And you can smell, smell sweetness. Concentrating for dill, looking for dill, and not getting it. It's common in ryes. Canadians are generally high rye whiskey. I don't know this mash bill. There is a nice... Maple, butterscotch, sweetness to it. And a nice cinnamon smell too. Alright. Cheers my friends. Let's do an acclimation sip. Oak, a little nuttiness now. All right. Hmm. First off, let me say this, and try to judge it for what it is. This is about fifty dollars now. Um, here where I am, it tastes really a little thin. I guess um, it's probably because of the lower proof, so it, it has a thin mouth feel to it. I don't know if it's chill filtered and they've taken the oils out. I don't know. It feels thin. As far as the taste, it is a blend of maple, butterscotch, red hot candies. little oak and some candied nuts really like those canned nuts with I forget what they're called or just sweetened and the finish kind of goes away fast it's thin get those flavors it's gone it just, I guess because of the, the, the how, how watery, how thin it is, it doesn't, um, it's not very complex. I guess I named some flavors in there, but um, not a lot going on, it seems like. And it just kind of disappears quick. It is 50, the magic number, 50 and under. Um, well, that's getting harder to come by now. Those flavors are there. It is a little lacking in complexity, though. Let's say that. Afraid to put water in it. I think it'll disappear. Man, there's a lot of hot cinnamon on it. It's not a hot whiskey. It's just like those red hot candies. It's easy to drink. I think red hot candies are a pretty good description. With a kiss of uh, 
maple slash uh, caramel, a touch of wood, and maybe some sweet nuttiness on the on the end. But then the thin. I mean, this baby just cuts off. It goes. It just disappears. Hmm. Nothing off-putting with this whiskey whatsoever. Um, so no bad flavors. Just, you know, when I described it, like I can say what's, what's the flaws or the positives, I've just described what it is, and you can make your own decision on it. Um, for 15 under is what it is. Um, I read some things, people paying up near $100. No, absolutely not. Um, it's too much for this whiskey. So, from the Still Brew Reviewed, I hope describe. Thank you, Scooter, and I'll see everybody on the next one. Cheers, my friends.